Oh, hi there. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Uh huh. I just came from my, um, how should we say? My underground living area. It's very nice to live there. It's so nice and warm all the time. You will never get a cold there. And if you do me a tiny, tiny little favor and use this blood red ink and my beautiful feather pen here and you sign my little contract. The only thing you sign off is just a teeny weeny itty bitty little thing. Your soul. Then we can seal the deal and you will live forever. And you can come to my special living area. Never be cold in your life ever again and live forever, for eternity. Come with me and you will see. Sign the contract. Come on. Just a little grab. Just a little. Put your name down there. Just put your name. Just put your name on the contract and you. Yeah. Come on. Come with me. Come. Come. Come on. Hello, my cuties. It's all cutinesses. Here I am with another Halloween look. And it's going to an end, Halloween, so we will have to be quick to be able to do some looks before it is Halloween. I made me a little beard. A silly, crazy split beard. And I made me this piece with horns. But before I actually can start painting on my face. I have to um, attach my prosthetics. I love latex. It's such a, a grateful thing to work with. Now what I'm gonna do first is put latex on the inside of this prosthetic. without touching the edges, just the center, so that when I place it on my face I will know where I'll have to work off my edges. So I'm trying to center them as well as possible and as I don't have brows I don't have to care about them. <laughs> so I'm just pressing this on and the latex will attach already to my skin. Now to work it off, I'm going to take latex and put it underneath the edges. You can also use glue for this, but I'm going to go under and along so that I can really glue it down, but also make it a smooth edge. And as you'll see in the end of the video where I'm going to show you how I made this, I have made me, and I call her Me Too, <laughs> Me Too. A face cast, a real face cast of my own head. Huh? It was fun to make. It wasn't as easy to hold it on long enough on your face 
while you're working on it, but it's just a little part of the time actually that your mouth and eyes are covered together because most of the time it's just your mouth but you can easily breathe through your nose because that stays open uh, the whole time that never is being shut and the last eye, the, the second eye, is just really, really last minute. So, as you see, I'm just putting this on with extra latex. If you really want to have these edges the smoothest as possible, you make the edge so thin and then go over with a Q-tip with alcohol or acetone and you can really, like this, you can roll that away with acetone but a she-devil does not have to be perfectly smooth. I'm gonna do the same with this chin piece. And to have all of this perfectly dry, my trusty my blow dryer. That's that. Now this is perfect. It's all dry, it's all nice. The only thing you gotta do with latex is powder it off. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Aerospawn and my fluffy brush and go over the edges that are new. Now I've got to start painting my entire face red. I am gonna do a nice eye look with this and beautiful lips because it's a she devil. If it was a he devil, I would just smudge out black eyeliner around the eyes. Now that it's a she devil, we can go a little bit more to the side can't we? This is a different type of paint that I used but the color seems to be a good match and I'm gonna use a little bit of this to blend onto the horns and I am gonna do that first on the forehead the perimeter of my face a little bit down the neck and I think I'm gonna have to paint my ears too don't like painting my ears but it are the last days of Halloween so I gotta suffer water always a good thing to put water on water activated paint mm. and I'm gonna start on the top because on the latex I will have to do several coats to have it nicely completely covered. And I'm going up the horns with the same, with the face paint actually, to have the color blend in completely. And I'm gonna go up there. I'm not gonna make me browse so I can paint the edges of my face along with it. And I'll do my ears. Ooh, I'm gonna paint my ears red. <laughs> oh, the thought alone is terrible.
that this is water activated paint so it comes off very good. And I will be wearing a cape, so this is as far that I have to go, I think. It does give a special extra if you do paint your ears. I know I hate it, but it does make it a lot more realistic as much as a devil can be realistic in paint. But as you see, it does change the look a lot. Now this red actually is not very very dark so I will be able to do a lot of shading and highlighting on it. But it will be much more opaque with a second coat. You'll see that, that once I have put on the second coat of course. And while this is drying, I'm gonna do my eye makeup. Oh god, I look like a weird creature from a cartoon. An animal thing. Something. Something very strange. <laughs> now I am going to take a red eyeshadow, of course. I'm gonna start with a fluffy brush. With a red eyeshadow and pop that in my crease. And of course, go outwards to where I'm gonna make me a wing. A very fine brush. So first of all, I'm gonna make a normal wing on normal cat's eye. And I'm also going to bring it inwards. Now, as you know, a devil always has a tri horned wand with him, and I actually want to do that on the eyes. That first wing is the middle one of his three. Spikes on that thing. And on this side I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it on one side. And it has got tips. on the tips. <laughs> Now 
so his tripod or whatever you want to call it is in this eye corner worked into the makeup I really like that now what I want to do is put some red but I want to have a little bit of a glittery red I have got some red glitter here and I've got some red lip gloss now I want to use the gloss as glue so I'm gonna put that in between and with this fine bullet brush I'm gonna divide it as a sticky base for the glitter I can always outline the tripod again but I'm gonna dip my brush right into the red glitter so taking that same brush I'm popping it right into the glitter and I'm gonna press that on right in there and that worked nicely so I'm gonna do the same on the eyelid so with lip gloss as my base but you can use uh, lash glue you can use anything you have at hand but I prefer this because it is already red and if there are little spots where you don't have glitter it will still be red and more red than the eyeshadow but I had to put the eyeshadow under this because otherwise the lip gloss would glide anywhere it wants to so I'm now gonna finish this line off from inner corner here to the tip of his tripod her tripod <laughs> and press the glitter right on or in give that a good press And now that this is done and pressed in, I'm gonna do the rest of the painting work. Again, first of all, on the next part. And bring the paint around your makeup. Really outline it very gently. And if your paint is creamy enough, you don't have to go over a second time. See if you do that perfectly or as good as you can from the first layer. you'll be good to go and I'm also tabbing on the paint underneath my eyes so that I don't stretch the skin too much to give myself extra wrinkles And for the rest, just go over it again. There, that's uh, the painting part. Uh, I was going to use a normal black pencil to do my waterline. I 
am smudging that lower line. I don't want it to be neat. I do some upper waterline and mascara. I want to let the inner corners fade a moment and I'm outlining my lips with black eyeliner. And I'm going to make them very pointy. On the cupid's bow. In the meantime, this should have to have dried a little bit. And of course, I want an ombre. It's cute that I do have a beard though, not? I'm gonna use the same gloss that I use on the eyes. And now I can choose to put glitter on that or to leave it like this. But I know that if I leave it like this, it goes on my teeth, it goes everywhere, it doesn't stay in place. So I am going to put glitter on it. So the eyes and the lips match perfectly. Mm -hmm. I am going to use a little bit of highlighter very carefully before I use a <coughs> contour. I'm going to take a very fluffy brush and a goldish highlighter. Works nice. I don't think I need blush. And then I'm gonna take with the same brush, but I'm gonna fluff it off a little bit. I'm gonna take the tiniest tab of black eyeshadow. If I'm busy, I, I always dare to take a little bit more and a little bit more, <laughs> but to start off, it's a touch. But now that I know that it works, I can do my tricks, my temples, even maybe my nose. And now with a clean brush, I'm going to feather out this black. Oh, that's pretty. Mm, look at my eyes, how they speak with this look. And I am not going to wear colored contacts. These are my own. 
I look great. I'm gonna put on my costume and then I'll be back. I think I'm done, so... I don't need brows for this. They burn up in hell. Falsies don't. These are fireproof. It doesn't always have to be waterproof, you know. This is fireproof. I'll be back in a jiffy. Ow. So, this is the final result of my she-devil look. I think it came out very well. I think it, I really think it worked out very well. I'm so in love with this look. Oh my god, I think it's so great. It's one of the fun, the most fun looks I've ever done. And I made my, 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 my horns and everything for the first time on my face cast. And it was such fun to do. Really, I have enjoyed making this so much. I started this look with excruciating pain. I was in such devastating state and now I feel great because I, I makeup makes me live. Makeup gives me adrenaline, gives me energy. So I now feel so good. Not because I'm a devil, but, but because this makeup turned out so well. I hadn't had, I didn't have a picture a reference or anything. I just wanted to do this and it worked out so good. I love it. <laughs> I'm so overexcited now. But I really want to thank you all for watching this tutorial with me. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Leave some nice comments down below. Give me some thumbs up. Ring the notification bell to see whenever I upload a new video. And for me, there's as always just one thing left to say. And that is, my love for makeup is spread all over to you. And I really hope to see you again soon in probably my last Halloween video for this year. And then probably I will start doing some Christmas looks. So, bye bye!